Coffee paints may be expensive to most DIY squishy makers, but luckily, we have found out a cheap substitute for this squishy paint. And for today's video, I will show you my homemade squishy paint or puffy paint factory. Okay, first, I'll show you the 360 degree view of this cardboard machine. I painted this machine with the colors yellow, pink, and violet as a theme for this machine. Then, I also printed out these stickers which says Puffy Paint Factory. I've been searching across the internet and I haven't seen someone making a puffy paint machine, so I'm probably the first one to make this cardboard creation. Therefore, if you guys are going to make your own version of this cardboard puffy paint machine, please don't forget to give me a shout out in your video and some credits too. Now my favorite part of this machine is this mixing cup dispenser. And as you can see, it's pretty neat and it functions really well. topmost left of this machine, we have these spoons for mixing and at the left side, we also have a small drawer for the paints. <laughs> Below this is the compartment for the empty glue bottles which will be used in storing our finished products. As you can see, I've already filled two of the bottles with the colors blue and violet. To make our DIY squishy paint, let's first grab a mixing cup. And what I like to do next is to scoop paint from one of these so I'll only have to steer and mix once. Let's set this spoon aside for now and for the first ingredient, we'll put in shaving foam. If you guys want to know the right measurements for the ingredients to make your DIY puffy paint, you can check the link in the description box and watch the tutorial. Let's put in white glue after and start mixing these ingredients with the spoon we took earlier. everything thoroughly until you get a light, thick, and nice consistency. If you want to make more puffy paint, you can just add up more of the two ingredients and as well as paint if you're not satisfied with the colors. Once you're done mixing, you'll get a nice texture like this. After that, you can now put in your paint to a container. In this case, a funnel would be very helpful. But for now, I'm just using a spoon because I already kind of get used to it. puffy paint, I'm coloring it with red.
guys like this cardboard machine, be sure to smash those thumbs up and might as well subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated in my future videos. This machine was just easy to make, it took me less than a day and I bet you can make this machine within that span of time too, and you probably can even make it better. That's it yo fam, thank you so much for watching, I hope you will keep in touch, and if you want to send some mail for our future opening mail video, I'll leave an address down in the description box. I really think that that'll be fun, so I hope we'd get to make that video soon. And before we end this vid, I'd like to give a massive shout out to We Bear Bears, our foes man! Isho M, Animasis, Ninja Vlogs, and Ordinary Chan for your positive comments in my previous video. Again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, stay creative. Bye!